Yeah. <laughs> I'm bride and her bridegroom. Parents of the bride and bridegroom, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Face silence. What is normally the most nervous man in the room. But this man isn't nervous. He brought back up with him. <laughs> the cool duo. Coolness personified each and every one of them, or both of them, really. So would you please welcome the bridegroom's brother, Tommy and Roy Mercer! <laughs> Really, but, you know, 
Uh, of course, there are things we love about him too. His uh, snacking habits, for example. <laughs> um, not helped by living next door to a car. Uh, you know, we used to uh, often find a lot of uh, packets of chocolate chip cookies stuffed down behind the sofa cushions. Uh, if he's snacking away at one, no one was looking at it. It was always great. But the best part for Rory and I was when Mum used to catch him, he'd squirm a little bit, didn't know what to say, he'd always come up with him and say, I bought these to share! I bought these to share! <laughs> So, uh, since we, we will be growing up and coming to uni, one of the ways that myself and Matt have really sort of stayed close is by going to Chalk matches. So, we go watch the football. And we've been to Rotherham, we've been to Bristol, we've even been to Wembley Stadium, we've been everywhere. And we've always talked about just how much we need a new striker, we need another goal scorer, we don't score enough goals. And not once did I think Matt would be the man to get that pro contract and be the man to do the job. And here he is, this is his headshot, this is his headshot, but we all know this is probably fake, and the dream really fell apart from that, when the club realised they couldn't get the kit to fit in. <laughs> you know, the truth is, uh, on a serious note, Matt, um, growing up with you has been great, we have to say thank you, because the truth is, like I said earlier, you've kept us entertained, you've made us laugh, you've made me cry a few times as well. All we had to do was sell me for that. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so it has been great. We just want to say thank you. And I think, you know, that brings me on to talk about the wedding day, obviously today, and how proud we are of both of you. Uh, it's, I think it's been great everyone here when I say we're having an amazing time. Yeah. Um, and look, just, yeah. I'm really, you know, we're just really, really proud to finally see you two come together and actually finally get married. It, it really is amazing. I was actually in tears earlier. I didn't know I cared that much, but... No, yeah, I completely back that. I agree with everything that Tommy's saying there. But to be honest, sort of the long-term organisation of this wedding, we've not really been involved in it. To be honest, I've not known much about it at all. And completely honestly, I didn't even know we were going to be eating until it came out of the place. <laughs> and this time as well, I was quite surprised, because it was nice, I really enjoyed it, but it wasn't one of your favourites, was it, Matt? <laughs> oh, it came out and I was really expecting to see maybe fish fingers, cheese, dipped in ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> now, anyway, the, the, the weather's been great, thank God. I was to leave, it was raining this morning, but I know Charlotte will look at pictures at least be saying it's perfect outside. So, yeah, on behalf of everyone, I really just want to say thank you for having us all here. So, yeah. Uh, when we were writing the speech, we were thinking about what, what sort of thing we can include or we should include. We thought maybe it'd be important a little bit to touch on the price. So Charlotte, brace yourself, because this speech is all about you. <laughs> now, the first time that I ever really met Charlotte, the first time I ever really got to know her, was on a family trip to Auckland Towers. Now, <laughs> um, so we were going to take a friend, I took my best mate from primary school, told me to be his best mate from secondary school, and Matt decided to bring Charlotte along. That's fair enough. But I was quite young, I was in primary school, so I didn't really understand. Maybe Matt fancied Charlotte, maybe they were just friends, but don't worry everyone, Matt and Charlotte snogged him for four hours on the way home, and he didn't get put my <laughs> You know, actually, Charlotte, we've always loved you. We've always found you uh, really, really funny, hilarious, actually. Um, and, you know, we've always, we've always known you've been a great addition to the Mercer family. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> a bit more, we were thinking about why that was, and I think the conclusion we came to was that everybody really loves taking the piss out of Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, thinking deeper into that, I remember sort of the first time Charlotte really opened up to us, um, as a family, actually. Uh, the five of us were out for a meal, Charlotte was there, of course, as well. Um, and, you know, out of the blue she says, you know what, Matt really kisses like an over-excited puppy. Now, <laughs> 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 uh, really, Charlotte, we just want to say how proud we are of everything you've achieved sort of in the last year, year and a half, leading up to this all the organisation, and we just want to welcome you to the family and become the news Actually, the two of us have been eager for you to get married for quite a while now. Um, we were doing our research because we're not married, that's what marriage actually is. And what we found out that marriage is apparently all about bickering, moaning and getting on each other's nerves. And I think I speak for everyone here when I say that you two don't have a problem with any of that. 
obviously I'm joking, um, we love you two, uh, you know, you're perfect together, in fact, you're practically the same person. <laughs> Oh, 